Connor, more cup games this weekend, but uh, first got a great uh, result last week against Newport in the FA Cup. Yeah, brilliant result. Um, obviously, to bring them back to, to our home ground here on Tuesday night is a, it's a big accomplishment for us. Um, I think if anyone that was there and watched the game, I think the performance was even more pleasing than the result. Um, obviously, their manager spoke really well of us after the game and probably said that they were lucky to get a draw, which is which I think is fair. We've probably done enough to win the game. But I think performance-wise, as has been the same even for the last four or five games, performance was there and uh, really positive again. So that's the main thing we got to take forward. And just sticking with that Newport game, now the replay on Tuesday, a night of you what an occasion that will be for the club. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, it's, a good, it's a good showcase for everything the club's about, the ground, everything, um, how well obviously the team are doing as well. So we'll try and perform as, as we did last Saturday and see if we can go one better this time around. And our opponents tomorrow, Maidstone, got a, a big FA Cup shock last week against Sparrow. Does that show the levels of these non-league teams now? I think if you look for all the rounds, yeah, the... the the representation of non-league has been brilliant throughout. Um, all the shot had a great result against High Fine Stockport. There's a Chesterfield, obviously, again they won, and to be fair, they deserve to win as well. So there's a lot of good, good work from National League and National League South clubs. So it's positive, and to be fair to me, it's a brilliant result for them against Barrow. I thought they were excellent, um, performed really well, and obviously, obviously it's a cup shock. But we know that we know obviously been around it long enough. There's not much between a lot of these leagues. So brilliant for Maid Sound to get through in that in that competition. Hopefully, it doesn't happen tomorrow for them. Okay, there'll be a tough game tomorrow. What what can we expect from Maidstone? You sort of touched on there the quality of the, and the very little difference between the three leagues. Yeah, listen, they're doing brilliant in the league below. Um, George has done excellent. He's gone in there. He got them flying again. Obviously, not had a tough time last year, but it's all it's a lot. It's really tough to go down and bounce back. And to be fair to them, they've done that brilliantly themselves in the oval. So they're up the top end, doing really well. They're very physical, they've got an athletic side, and they're asked a lot of questions to teams. And to be fair, they're doing brilliant. So we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, it was a tough game when we went there last year in the trophy and the league and also when they played us here so we know it's never an easy game against Maidstone and to be fair the joy as I said he's got them flying. And obviously this is our first uh, FA Trophy game of the campaign last year we got as far as the semi-finals is this time round to try and go one step further? That's always the plan I mean every game of football we always take a game at a time so every game of football that we play out on the pitch home or away we try and win so that's no different tomorrow when as you said we got to the semi-final and got undone on penalties so Ideally, we'd like to go one better, if not two better, and get to the final and win. So, we, we, as I said, we take every game and try and win it. And uh, finally, is there any update to the team news ahead of this weekend? No, no, all the lads are in good spirits. We've had another good week of training, so we're off the back of a positive result last Saturday. We'd like to build on that tomorrow. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers, thank you.